is Stitchless TV. Today, we're not going to do any sewing. See, I have no sewing machine today. We're not doing any pattern cutting because today I'm going to share with you some of Tree's tricks. So my first trick is shoulder pads. Now shoulder pads are not just a 90s power thing. They're also really good to giving shape to a t-shirt. So I'll show you. So if I take my shoulder pads out, look how slouchy I look. <laughs> no, look how slouchy I look. But when I put them back in again, look, it gives a really good shape. And do you know another thing? If you've got massive boobies, <laughs> Having shoulder pads balances out the size of your boobies and they're perceived to be a little bit smaller. And whilst we're talking about boobies, I'm not going to demo this because I don't want you to see mine, but you know where your bra goes like that? If you have got big boobies, if you pull your bra together like that and then sort of stay stitch it, it gives the illusion of them being smaller because it brings them in and it makes them narrower. Now my next one is a mega, mega tip, okay? I've been doing this since I was about 20 because I don't know if you know, I'm actually very, very short, very short indeed. Now, have you noticed in posh shops you can get kind of trainers and shoes. I think the brand is Hogan, I think. That might be correct. Anyway, and they do these sort of built-up inner soles, which make you look taller, but it, it looks like you're actually taller because you're not wearing a big heel on the outside. Well, do you know what I've always done long before they ever did these shoes? I would go to my cobbler. I'd go to my cobbler. And I'd say to them, can I get some of that resole stuff and can you build them up into a shape like this? And I put that inside my shoe and it only works obviously on high tops and boots and it gives me about that much more extra leg. Now I am aware that everything I'm showing you is black so you can see what sort of clothes I wear when I'm not on camera. Anyway, so I wanted to share this one with you as well because this is a pretty good tip. Now, I don't know if any of you have really over-the-top leggings at home that you just can't handle wearing. It was like an impulse buy. Do not throw them away because look at what fantastic sleeves they make. Right, coats. This coat I bought donkeys years ago from this little vintage shop on the Ramblers in Barcelona. And I really, really love it. But after a few years, I don't know, you know how you just want to change your clothes a little bit, but without doing anything too invasive. So do you know what I did? Look at this. Now, if you've seen these toggle things before, where you squeeze it and then you can adjust the drawstring. Would well, you know what I did? I threaded this drawstring all the way through the hem that already existed in the coat. I didn't even have to do any sewing and it looks like this. So look, I'm drawing up all of that drawstring and pushing the fabric around the hem. So I didn't even have to sew anything, remember? And then I do the same on the other side as well. So I'm gathering it all up. And then look, you get this brilliant kind of balloon effect on your coat. Now you know when you buy pants, right? Regular bikini pants. And sometimes your tummy sort of feels like it wants to sort of hang over a little bit over that sort of caesarean line there. And so you get a horrible kind of line on your bum, a knicker line on your bum. Why do they make them like that? 
or look at what I do. Now, if you wear your pants the wrong way round, I am being completely serious. I wear my pants the wrong way round every single day of my life. And I do it because of this, look. See how it now holds in my tummy? And that's much more comfortable. Also, look, it goes up my bum so I don't get a nickel line. <laughs> cardigans now when you try when you try on a cardigan in the shop right so i tried on this cardigan in the shop and i thought oh i don't know it's all right but it's a little bit frumpy so then i did this i turned it upside down and look it's a completely different cardigan and i love it it works with regular cardigans too. They usually need to be a little bit oversized in order for it to work, but look at this. So I've turned it upside down and I've got the, this is the hem around my neck and it's like a shrug. And that was a regular cardigan. Now remember that top that I was wearing a minute ago? And you know I'm always saying I don't like my arms. Now look what I do when I have a t-shirt and the sleeves are too short. What I do is this, I get another sleeve off another t-shirt that is the right length and this is inside now. I just cover it, I cover the existing sleeve so we're inside the t-shirt and then I just zigzag it all around the armhole so it ends up covering my flabby arms, look. Thank you so much for watching Stitches TV and if you have any strange or weird tricks that you do to your clothes, share them with me on my Facebook page Stitches TV sewing channel or comment below. See you again soon. Bye.